we found out that surgical lighting is a big problem in many developing countries, both in terms of adequate surgical lighting and surgical lighting during power outages. Uh, the power grid is very unreliable in most developing countries. The problem is if you're in the middle of surgery and the lights go out, very bad news for the patient. We really don't think that's acceptable. So therefore, we're looking for a low-cost alternative that's roughly on the same price scale as a handheld flashlight, but has a lot of the performance of a like, full-scale Western surgical lamp. And the idea behind the lamp is that it has an onboard battery, but is normally plugged into the wall. And then in the case of a power outage, it seamlessly switches to the battery power until the power comes back up. Now, this can really depend on the location, because if you're in somewhere like the Philippines, where maybe five or six times a week they'll have a half-hour outage, so a fairly small battery would be fine in that case. If you're in rural Uganda, you have the situation where the power grid could go out for two months at a time. So in that case, simply recharging it from a wall isn't going to be feasible. You're going to need some kind of human power or solar power to recharge the battery. The lamp is really exciting because it's MHEAL's first design project, so it took us a little while to figure out how to do it the right way, but I'm really glad these guys did a great job. They started very much focusing on what resources are available on site, how can we do it made of local materials, how can we do it in a sustainable way. MHEAL's mission is to design, build, and repair medical equipment for the developing world. One of the ways we do that is with repair sessions at World Medical Relief. So World Medical Relief is an organization in Detroit. They're a nonprofit that collects donated hospital equipment. And some of it works, some of it doesn't. And so we help uh, technicians from Beaumont Hospital who come down there to test the equipment, sort it, inventory it, repair what we can. Sometimes we take two broken pieces of equipment and make one working one. And all of that equipment then gets shipped off to hospitals that need it in the developing world. This is a dental lamp that we actually picked up from WMR. They were gracious enough to lend it to us just for some inspiration that we've kind of based our design off of. At one point we were going to use car headlights. The problem there is they use so much power that it actually heats up the patient. That's when we found out that um, China's actually recently begun exporting a large number of LED flashlights to Sub-Saharan Africa. So we decided to kind of leverage that and build our design using components from these flashlights. These are the uh, LED flashlight that's, uh, that we're going to use for the uh, surgical lamp. And eight of these flashlights, LED flashlights, are going to go over here and we're going to attach them. And at the uh, lamp head, you can see uh, we use a uh, rear view mirror from the car as the other uh, joint so that it acts like a ball and socket joint and you can just freely move it and uh, you can also see a, a, a bike brake over here and it's attached all the way back to the horizontal bar over there and um, whenever the user breaks the bike brake it releases the uh, weight clip over here which is attached to the uh, the the axis and releases the, uh, the horizontal bar from the axis so that it can move up and down. Our end goal is to distribute plans to these lamps so just anyone in the developing countries can uh, start building these lamps on their own. They're going to get the feedback of the technicians and bring it back and do a redesign and I think that's what's going to help make it a quality product.